Hello, this is Poor Nielsen with Random Artech, and today we're making a wood material within Substance Designer. This tutorial is brought to you by all of my gold level patrons from Patreon, and so I thank you for the support. If you'd like to support me, you get access to this and other cool files to use in your different projects, and also allows me to make uh, tutorials for you guys, so thank you so much for all of those. It's just patreon.com slash randomartech. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into this tutorial. It's separated into two parts. The first part is I'm going to go over really quickly the different, uh, basically, node tree. And then the second part, we're actually going to create that node tree from scratch. So here we go. As you can see right here, we have my node tree. I start with an anisotropic, I think I said that right, noise. I bring into a warp with Perlin noise, and it's cranked up really high to like 50. I then do a vector warp and do a gradient offset so it gets stretched. I then, I'm going to level this so it makes it lighter and bring that into the normal map. I'm going to add some black and white spots and then kind of make this into divots in the wood so you have these little grooves. And then the roughness is super easy and the color, as you can look right there, it's very marbled. I basically take this black and white and create a gradient map from that black and white height map. So let's go ahead and do the more in-depth thing. So I'm creating a new substance here. Zoom that out. Let's just go ahead and clear up our workspace. Now, we're not going to use that. That's why I'm trying to make it... I'm going to try and use these, but you'll see that I don't use them very frequently or very well. So hit spacebar and type in anisotropic, and then just grab that noise. And then Perlin noise, same thing, spacebar, Perlin noise. And you can use any noise you want. I just find Perlin works the best. Then warp, drag both those in. And then the intensity, I'm going to actually change this up to about 50. Oh, it's actually looking really good. You can could, you could bring it down or, or, or up, but I do like the marbling there. So 50 is good for me. I'm then going to do a vector warp. I'm going to do the black and white one. Drag that in, and then I'm going to do gradient linear 2, and then drag that one in as well. And you can see immediately, without any other work, it's looking very good. It's stretching out. You could increase it or decrease it to get the, the look. I find 100% is exactly what you want. Now let's go ahead and type in normal, or you could just drag and drop it there. So I'm trying to get used to that. Bring that into the normal, and you can see it's looking pretty good, but I hate the default material, the black with the shininess. It just looks gross. So I'm going to do uniform color, grayscale, uniform color, grayscale. Drag one into color, one into roughness. And as I look here, change this down to about mid-gray so that it kind of has the Fresnel, but not too shiny, not too, too matte. And the actual color, I'm going to make it a dark gray so that it, it kind of pops. Now, I'm not going to worry about metal or anything like that because it's wood, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, as I look here, the normal is too deep, so what I like to do is I like to create a level. So right there, and it's also up here, so I can drag and drop it right there. And gradient map, I don't think this is the one. We'll play around with that later, so let's go ahead and look at the levels first. As you drag and drop, uh, not drag and drop, drag this gray back and forth, you can make it lighter or darker. So as you can see, it's making it less intense. Now I can also drag this white up to make it flat so it looks like it's only inset details as you go. So it's a smoother finish and it looks almost kind of like rough but polished wood. Now this is not gradient, I don't think. Yeah. Is one of these the gradient map? Let's look through a couple of these. Uh, gradient dynamic. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, nope. So I'm just going to hit spacebar gradient map, grab this, drag this one in. And now from the gradient map, I can actually drag this or I can double click it and change it to a lighter gray like that. So now as I bring this in, you can start to get the same effects, um, make that even lighter. And then you can drag the white up like this to make it uh, a little bit more level. Yeah, so that's exactly the same. So I'm just gonna stick with levels and there we go, okay. Next, we wanna do those little divots. So I'm gonna do black and white spots, number one. I like to go ahead and levels this again, pull that one down, and I, I'm going to try and invert this. I think you just drag it like this. Yeah, that just inverts it like that. And so I'm getting these little white spots everywhere that I want. Okay. Now I'm going to drag this into the normal and see if this is what I want. Yeah, I actually don't want this inverted because that was coming out, not in, so don't invert that. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so as I look at this, I'm just trying to make this what I want. And then I'm going to put an invert. I don't think we need this invert. Yeah, inverting making it go out. I don't want invert at all. Uh, 
So now I'm going to darken the original one. So I'm going to blend these. I'm going to take this one and the dots go on top and the wood goes on bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and do darken multiply. And then I can drag this in and you can see the wood is being mixed with this. And then you can change the opacity so that the divots aren't as intense. And that is looking pretty good. And so we're done with the texturing. Now all we need to do is do the roughness map and the color map. So let's go ahead and do color first because it's the most interesting thing. I'm going to be doing a gradient map. We don't want to do it with this because there's gray. It's it's not black to white. It's just gray to white. And so there, you, you lose some range. So I'm going to go ahead and blend from here and blend from here. So it's perfectly black and white. Yep. And so you can see the dark spots and the dark wood and it looks great. Now gradient map, bring that in and then snap that into the color. And so you can see that already this is what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to change these colors. I'm just going to go ahead and create a dark, kind of like a cherry dark red. This white, so let's make this a different color. And you play around like that sharp red's looking really cool already. You're just trying to contrast this. And now you just start to add colors in between it. The stranger the color, you can start to see what you like and what you don't like. I do like some of that white, uh, that light wood. And so it's looking really cool already. Now that might be too white, so you can kind of change it down and get the cool colors that you'd like. So I'm just going to be doing this for a little bit, getting the colors I like. And again, follow me on social media. I mean, while we have some downtime, right? I love Twitter. If you make something really cool, go ahead and just shoot us up on Twitter and show us what you're making. We, we, we love hearing from the fans. Um, so that's how you do color, basically. Let's go ahead and do the roughness. So I'm just going to, there's a lot of different ways. You could do it from the height map, uh, but I'm just going to do a grunge map. So let's look at this grunge map here. Drag and drop it in. And you can see, e that looks horrible, right? So we can start doing the leveling again. You can start leveling the darks up or the lights down or doing whatever you want. So bringing the levels again, bringing it to a gray. Now you can see it's not working because the blacks are too black. So this is where the gradient map would actually be really good because there's going to be zero black. It's just going to be like light gray to lighter gray. So bring that up. That's too matte for my liking, but we can play around with it. And so I, I have it just slightly different where it's like kind of a gray and then a darker gray. And you start to get uh, a subtle texturing. And so it's actually blending pretty good, maybe a little too similar. But that's basically how you could do this. You could also blend in that black and white, kind of that bump map to just get a little bit more. Now this, I could just lighten and dark it with levels right there as well. And you can get the sheen that you want. So that's actually not bad. Let's go ahead and do a blend here. So I'll show you what I was talking about. Take this, put it in at the top. Okay, so that's the wood. Pull this in. Oh. So that's gray on gray. So uh, let me think. So I'm just going to make it a gradient map to make it color like that. Do darken. And now you drag this in and you're going to get, it's very subtle, but you're going to start to get some differences between the indents and the outdents. Outdent is not a word. Yay. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, as I just look over this, it's looking pretty good. It's not the shininess that I want, uh, but the master file is the one that you saw at the very start. And so if you want access to that, uh, I, I provide a lot of different files on my Patreon account. And so um, anything, if you would like to follow us and get, and get different tutorial uh, files, or if you want input in tutorials themselves, follow us on Patreon. Also, like I said before, follow us on Twitter and give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. And let me know if uh, there's any tutorials that you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, we've done a lot of Substance Painter and a lot of Substance Designer tutorials. I'm kind of in the mood to get back to a Unity tutorial and maybe some more Blender modifiers as well. Thank you so much for your guys' time. Have an awesome day and I'll see you around.